residents in Flint weighing in on the Flint School Board's dispute with the Charles Stewart Mott Foundation, which announced a pause on grants for the district. If you want to do what I say do, I'm going to take my toy. At stake is $200 million in grant funding that supports things like the Crim Fitness Foundation and Youth Quest Summer Programming. The foundation announcing the pause, citing its inability to communicate with the superintendent without the presence of the school board president or an appointee. For them to do it based on that reason, I'm not sure if that makes sense to anybody. Board Secretary Danielle Green says she's confused and disappointed. And it's unfortunate that we have those who care so much about our students pool funding, which will hinder anything that our children will be able to do after school. Adding the decision will hurt the children more than anyone. The last meal of the day for children, tutoring for children, homework help. But she plans to do everything in her power to maintain the programs with or without the foundation. Our, our students deserve after school programs and our students deserve uh, the different um, activities that they're able to do in after school programs. United Teachers of Flint President Karen Christian also concerned about the decision and what it will do to children and families in Flint, saying the decision shouldn't have been made at the expense of children. Everything has to be about the students. If it's not about the students, then why are we here? Reporting in Flint, Jamie Sherrod, WNEM TV5. In a statement, Mott Foundation President Ridgeway White said the organization paused the funding because it needs timely and direct communication with the superintendent to responsibly administer and implement grants. He also said the door to the foundation is still open. You can read his entire statement in the hotlink section on WNEM.com.